Hey, Brian from Garageville Hall. Today I have a portable ice plunge, ice bath. So let's open up, see what is inside, and I will actually demonstrate it. Um, kind of excited, kind of anxious, so we'll see what happens with that. Lots of health benefits to a ice plunge. Uh, helps recover faster, sleep better, uh, muscular and joint pain, uh, muscular recovery. I, I, th the list is endless. Anyhow, let's just uh, open this up and I will show you how we set this up and we go from there. So it's taped up pretty good when we flip this over. So this is the one side of it. That slides out pretty good. So that's the empty box we throw around in the studio so that is the foldable tub so basically on the instructions unfold bathtub insert six plastic tubes uh, inflate the air ring when inflating use a large inflatable uh, heat to inflate so anyway let's open this up so we have all these ribs in here so that's a little bit of a bladder and I don't think that shows on the instructions at all so let's see what it's got so it does have a small pump that comes with it depending on this pump I actually might cheat a little bit and use a uh, another type of, of air pump but it's good that it actually comes with that so you can be up and running so that is your small air pump that comes with it. And then you have your, looks like this is gonna be maybe the base of this. So let's take a closer look at it. Base or might actually be the lid. Let's figure it out as we go. These are your poles that we're going to put in. So it looks like that is the top part. And that is a, looks like that is an inflatable top to it, so that's pretty cool. So that is going to be your drain valve. That's here. So looks like that screws in. Let me get this better on camera range here. So that is going to be your your drain valve. So we'll just close that down for the time being. And then it looks like these go. Insert the six plastic tubes. So it looks like it has a round end. So we are going to be putting the round end up through the side here. So the bottom part of that will be kind of more of a support base. So far pretty easy. Looks like we only got two more spots left. And 
And it seems like pretty, pretty decent material here. Okay. So that is basically the tub. Let me go bring this out onto my deck and we'll start blowing up. So stay tuned. We have. So it does look like that is an inflatable cover that we can put on. So we'll do that last. Looks like this is a bit of a, a base. And we'll put that down. That's kind of how that goes and what we'll do. Looks like it has a valve here. I don't know if we put air in that, but let's seal that up. Put that down. Okay, so it looks like it has a wider valve here, and then it looks like it has kind of like a um, air check valve here. So let's put that in first. And then let's start filling up with air. Does help keep the air in it. So we'll put that thing out and then let's make sure it's situated on this and we will start adding water. Now I want to fill this all the way to the top considering that you will have your body mass going in here so I'm probably gonna fill it about halfway to three quarters and depending on how you do it as well uh, so it takes some experimenting with your body mass based on the amount of water that you put in there and then we'll let that go and we'll fill it up with some uh, some ice as we get closer to the top and then we'll go from there so uh, come check it out real quick And uh, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. All right, so just to give you an idea, so the water temperature has 52 degrees without the ice. The ice is clocking in at like 16 degrees. So we're going to add the ice now. to make that nice and lovely. So that should definitely start dropping the water temperature here pretty soon. So now we're at 34 degrees, 30 degrees. So, in the 40s. So yeah, I think we're ready. So we're gonna take the hose out. So it looks like we're down to around 34, 33 degrees overall. So 35. All right, time to plunge in. All right, so just so you know, the entrance of this, the mouth of it's 26 inches in circumference. And it stands basically about 30 inches tall and I did blow up the lid so again it was pretty pretty easy it looks like that just kind of like sits on top of there maybe put a little bit of uh, some weight on top of that to kind of like cover that up so if you're going to be reusing the water 
And then, uh, all right, let me get in. And after I get in, I'll have my daughter read some health benefits to this. And then we, uh, we go from there. This is going to be cold. That, that is, this is freezing, so just let, oh yeah, oh, talk about taking your breath away, <laughs> man, but give you an idea, I'm about 5'7", and I'm 215 pounds, and about 15 seconds into this, and this is, like, I can feel it right into my core. My hands, my toes are like almost instantly numb. So this is an interesting feeling. Oh so it's about 30 seconds in. I said, man, I can't believe how cold I got like overall. It's like crazy. All right, I'm about 40, I'm about 45 seconds. I'm kind of like settling into a little bit, but man, my fingers and toes are freezing. And so they recommend about a minute. So what are the health benefits? That's a minute for me now. So. Uh, one to three minutes uh, enhanced performance for a workout. Three to five minutes um, have shown to be effective in recovery after a high intensity workout. And then five to 10 minutes have uh, seen to reduce inflammation improve immune system and better cardio health so i mean i definitely so that's about a minute and a half and i think for my first time that's probably going to be good but whew, man. man that that's icy but just to give you an idea, so this is the water displacement. I'll, I'll show you on the other camera, but this, oh, man, it just like still hits you. So just to give you an idea, I put it probably about three quarters of the way full. Uh, like I said, I'm about 5'7", and I am 215 pounds. So this is the water displacement that you'll see, just to kind of give you an idea. Okay, so that is basically the water displacement of what's left in there. So it is about three quarters of the way full. And uh, that's Sadie, our golden. She's eating the ice cubes that spilled out. But yeah, that was uh, that was interesting. Anyway. Um, but other than that, Brian from Garage Mahal, thanks for watching and uh, stay safe out there.